Hello, my name is Adrian Goldberg and welcome to my latest minute review, Mary Poppins Returns. Now, I wasn't one of those people who cried sacrilege at the idea of a Mary Poppins sequel. Give it a chance, I thought. Let's see what Rob Marshall can do by updating this classic kids film. Well, I have done and I have to say I'm rather underwhelmed. That's not to say there isn't plenty to enjoy. Some half-decent songs, a brilliant fairground animation scene early on as the main characters slosh around a Royal Dalton teacup. And I was particularly taken by Meryl Streep's turn as the bonkers cousin Topsy. But this is a movie that never quite escapes the shadow of what went before. You're always conscious that something similar was done more than five decades earlier and in that case, rather better than it is now. And then there is Mary herself, whereas Julie Andrews as the umbrella-wielding nanny, bringing order to a chaotic household, always leavened her bossiness with a kind of maternal softness. Emily Blunt's brisk, no-nonsense reading of the character, for me anyway, lacks warmth, doesn't connect with my inner child. And talking of children, who of course are the core target audience of this movie, I reckon for them, this film is at least ten minutes too long. Overall, not bad, but not quite supercalifragilistic either. Six out of ten.